moment I prized your eye from his head. It was yours! Your strength that sustained Nidhogg all these years! Would that Haldreth had dealt the worm a killing blow. Come on, Ethel, and kill me. 
And so you acquiesced. You surrendered your eye to Nidhogg, knowing full well the suffering he would inflict. This one's
Twas my life's goal to slay Nidhogg. But I find there is little joy to be had in its accomplishment. But you have rid the world of a hate-filled creature, and ended a bloody war in so doing. I lost my family to Nidhogg's flames, and twas with fury in my heart that I took up the lance. Every blow I struck, I struck in the name of vengeance. We were not so different, he and I. I will not judge you for your deeds. I have not the right. Too many innocents have perished in the name of my greater good. Yet even with all that has passed, the tale is incomplete. We are short a great worm's eye. Of the pair which Haldreth took from Nidhogg, only one is known to us, the one I bear. What then became of the other? Why did Nidhogg, who had taken such pains to prolong the Dragonsong War, suddenly decide to hurl his entire army against the walls of Ishgard? Lord Commander. Aye. The deed is done. Nidhogg is slain. What? In the city? A battle with whom? At once, Lord Commander. Hold firm till our return. Fighting has broken out in the city. Lord Emmerich was sparse with the particulars, but it seems some commoners threw open the gates to a force of heretics. I gave no order to attack. Are we to mark the end of the Dragonsong War by spilling the blood of our own? Mayhap Raisvogel was right about us. Let us away, warrior of light. The people must be saved from themselves. Wait! I would join you! There has been enough violence. I will appeal to my people in the city and make them see reason. Come then, Lady Iceheart. Let us write the final chapter in this damnable war. Heretics has invaded the city, Your Eminence. But there is no cause for concern. A sizable contingent of our soldiers is already in place to repel the Dravanian assault. And the intruders will soon find themselves outnumbered and outmatched. Our plans proceed apace, then? Yes, Your Eminence. This unrest shall serve to feed the people's fear of the heretics and the dragons both lend renewed fervor to their prayers for deliverance. Very good. Grant our guests what time they need to sow a measure of chaos, then order the Temple Knights to crush them. Your will be done. The moment is at hand. Excellent. All shall soon be in alignment. It is time for the bringer of light to die.
lads! Sheathe your swords! There is no need for further bloodshed! My lady! She is come! Hear me, brothers and sisters! The war is ended! Nidhogg is no more! Aye, <coughs> it is so! This adventurer and the Azure Dragoon laid the Great Worm low! <coughs> The endless cycle of violence between man and dragon was born of our forefathers' treachery. You have followed me, bled with me, to bring this truth to light that we might all know peace. But Nidhogg is dead. Nidhogg is dead, my friends. He who bore such hatred towards Ishgard is dead. Let his hatred die with him, I say! Let us sheathe our swords and go in peace! Have we lost? No, my friend! Far from it! At long last, the peace for which we have so desperately fought is within our grasp! And I, for one, would not forsake it! Seize the witch! Let none escape! Providing aid and succor to the wounded should be our first concern. If the heretics mean to observe the peace, then it would be folly not to do the same.
Please, Halone, you are safe. My safety was never in doubt, Father. For I had the Azure Dragoon and the Warrior of Light by my side. We bring the most wonderful tidings. The infamous Lady Iceheart, here in Ishgard? This is most unexpected. She has done much to quell the violence. The Inquisition may not approve, but we are glad of her presence. And with the Great Worm's demise, even our nation's more reactionary elements will have scant grounds to press for her immediate impeachment. My thoughts exactly. What of the truth revealed to us by Hreisvelger? That the origins of the Dragonsong War, a core tenet of Ishgardian faith, are quite unlike those depicted in the scriptures. That men and dragons once lived together in harmony, and that it was man's treachery which shattered the peace and plunged our peoples into war. The same scripture also describes the origins of the High Houses. Were it exposed as false, the legitimacy of our rule would be called into question. If both Highborn and Lowborn can trace their ancestry to Thorden and his Knights Twelve... But a single sip of Dragon's blood is required to confirm their lineage. If the Holy See knew of this and chose to remain silent, their crimes are grievous indeed. Regardless, this state of affairs cannot be allowed to continue. Sir Emmerich, you cannot mean to raise this matter with the Archbishop. Pray consider what you are proposing. If the Holy See chose to conceal the truth for centuries, what reason would they have to reveal it now? At best, you will be branded a heretic in Clapton Irons. Then at least the Archbishop will have shown his true colors. My friends, this war will never truly be at an end until the truth is made known. You must see what lies on the horizon if it is not. When ruled by fear of a common enemy, we were united. But now we have none. During the war, the highborn needed men to lead and the lowborn men to follow. Not anymore. Tis but a matter of time before the old order is called into question. Lady Iceheart will share the truth with her followers, and the Holy See will be powerless to stop its spread. The disenfranchised will rise up united, and blood will flow in the streets once more. A divided Ishgard will not survive. Tread carefully, Lord Commander. My lady, is it wise to let him go? I sympathize with the Lord Commander's desire for reform, but to approach the Archbishop in this manner bespeaks an idealism to which I did not think Sir Emmerich prone. Though he comports himself as a realist, he has long dreamt of reform. It was that idealism which first drew me to him, that which made me swear an oath to serve. We must not think of ways to hinder his cause, but rather ways to aid it. Even should the Holy See cry heresy. You cannot mean. If the Lord Commander does not return from the vault at the appointed hour, I mean to go and fetch him. Have care, my lady. Your words border on treason. Should they reach the wrong ears, you will be declared an enemy of Ishgard. That is a risk I am willing to take. Lest you forget, my lord, I am not born of this land. 
My loyalty is to the Lord Commander alone. But I speak only of what may come to pass. If the rumors regarding his heritage are to be believed, we have naught to fear. <laughs> Lies and slander. Forgive me, what rumors are these? That Sir Emmerich is the Archbishop's bastard son. Senior clergy are not permitted to marry and sire children. But even the holiest among us are not immune to temptation. I labor to believe it. Sir Emmerich is truly the Archbishop's son. He has never been publicly acknowledged as such. But the rumors have plagued him since childhood. That he rose to his current position, despite being despised as a bastard and accused of profiting from his father's influence, bespeaks the quality of his character. It is my hope that on this occasion, the burden of his birth will work in his favor. Should our worst fears be realized, the Archbishop will not be so quick to execute his own flesh and blood, affording us time to mount a rescue. Bastard or trueborn, he is our nation's best hope. If the Holy See dares to threaten him, I shall lead the charge against the Vault myself. Hear, hear! The future of Ishgard rests on Sir Emmerich's shoulders. I too will do mine utmost to aid his cause. Orshafon, be reasonable. A knight lives to serve, Father. To aid those in need. The people need Sir Emmerich more than ever, and we may be his only hope. There is no greater calling for a knight than to save the life of his fellow man. I swear to you, on the sigil of our house, that I shall do this and make you proud. Even you? Romantic, reckless fools the lot of you. So be it. Make your preparations. I thank you all for your support.